Shalom Chavrim, I'm Stephen ben Danun with Israeli News Live. And <clears throat> once again, tensions flare up as the sun goes down. We have a full moon tonight, and uh, of course we've had it for the last couple of nights. And gunshots north-south of the old city. Uh, everything over in East Jerusalem now. This is where all the escalation of tension is. Uh, since the killing of the little baby girl up at uh, Ammunition Hill. Uh, the other young lady that died up there as well with the terrorists that actually struck them with an automobile. And then of course we had uh, Yuda Glick who was gunned down. Uh, he so, so far has survived the attack against his life uh, while speaking at a rally for the Jewish rights to be able to pray on the Temple Mount. I'm here near the Damascus Gate here in the east side of Jerusalem. Uh, we have police everywhere here constantly dealing with issues amongst the Palestinian youth in these areas here. We will be keeping you updated as, as things continue on. Also, there were three soldiers that were hit by a car as well uh, a few days ago. And uh, as we reported on Israeli News Live in a written statement there, it seems to be the new mode, the new tactic in which the youth of today is actually carrying out their intifada. Unlike 10 years ago when the generation then actually would use, lose their lives over it, strapping bombs to themselves and going in and attacking innocent civilians everywhere in Israel. This time they've chosen the cars, but instead of blowing them up, they've chosen to run down innocent civilians everywhere. In fact, just the other day coming down the street, I listened to a Palestinian youth, as he said, to a Jewish man who was walking down that was nervous of the cars passing by, run Jew run in Arabic language. I'm Stephen Bindanen reporting live from East Jerusalem near the Damascus Gate of the Old City.